I'm Gerald Pranti from the Tax Foundation, and today I'm going to explain the difference between marginal tax rates and average tax rates. There has been some confusion recently given the proposed third tax and the Tax Foundation fiscal fact regarding how much marginal tax rates would go up, the top marginal tax rate would be, and many have interpreted that as an average tax rate, meaning, for example, the top marginal tax rate would be 58% in New York City for high income people. Many have misinterpreted that to mean that the government at all levels would take 58% of all their income. That is not true. The marginal tax rate means that government would take 58% of that person's additional dollar beyond what he's currently making. So we're just going to basically go through a simple example here of a hypothetical tax system with no deductions, no exemptions, and three rates. So the three rates would be all income from 0 to 50 would be taxed at 10%, 50 to 100,000 would be taxed at 20%, and then beyond 100,000 would be taxed at a 30% rate. This is called a marginal rate structure. It's, the, it's a progressive rate structure, meaning higher income people are taxed at a higher rate. So in this example, we have a single guy named Mo who makes 120000 And we assumed, again, no exemptions or deductions. This is a very simple tax system compared to the one we obviously have. The tax in the first bracket, every dollar of his income is taxed at in some, one of these three brackets. So his, the tax in the first bracket would be all his income earned from zero to 50000 He's in. Because he makes 120,000, he's in that marginal tax bracket. However, he's taxed on his first 50,000 in that bracket. So the first, first 50,000 would be taxed 50,000 minus zero times 10 percent, five thousand dollars would be taxed on Mo in the first bracket. The same would apply for the second bracket, the 20 percent bracket. All his income in in that second bracket would be taxed at 20 percent. Obviously, he's beyond that, so he fills the entire bracket. So $50,000 he, $50, he earns in that bracket times 20%, that's a $10,000 tax in that bracket on Mo. The third bracket, which is the one he's in, means all the income earned beyond $100,000, which for Mo is $20,000, is taxed at a 30% rate. So $120,000 minus where that bracket kicks in, which is $100,000, and you multiply this $20,000 difference times the marginal tax rate that he's in, and that's 30%, which gives you $6,000. Mo's total taxes would be 21000 which would be the sum of how much is taxed in the first bracket, the second bracket, and the third bracket. Mo's tax burden, his total tax bill, is not 120000 times 30%, even though he's in the 30% tax bracket, and that each additional dollar Mo earns would be taken, 30% of it, which would be, would be taken by government, his entire tax bill is not equal to 30% times 120000 That is the misinterpretation many have made on the marginal tax rate study the Tax Foundation has released. If we look at it, most marginal tax rate is 30%. That's because if Mo earned another $10, government would take about three, would take three of that. If he earned another $100, he would, the government would take another 30 of that. So the government is taking 30% of each additional dollar Mo makes. That's the marginal tax rate, and that's what matters for economic decisions going forward. What's taxed back here doesn't matter for Mo's decision making going forward. What matters is the marginal cost, the additional cost, which is what the word marginal means in economics, additional. The additional cost versus the additional benefit of working that extra hour or investing in that additional dollar of income. However, the marginal tax rate should not be confused with the average tax rate. The average tax rate that Mo would face is his total tax burden, which we calculated earlier as 21000 and divide that by 120000 which is his total income. Mo's average tax rate is 17.5%. That's significantly lower than his marginal tax rate, which is 30%. As Mo's income goes higher and higher, these two will approach one another. If Mo was a millionaire, these two would be very similar because a lot of his income would be taxed at this top rate, where a very small portion of it would be taxed at these bottom two rates. However, since Mo's barely in the third bracket, the top bracket, most of his income is still taxed at these bottom two rates which is why his average tax rate is significantly lower than his marginal tax rate that he's in. Because we have a progressive rate structure and marginal tax rates get higher and higher as your income goes higher, marginal tax, the average tax rate for somebody will increase as their income goes up. It's the same analogy to if, you, if your current GPA is 3.5 and you get a B, which is a, the marginal grade is a B, your GPA falls. Or if you've got an A, which is a 4.0, GPA would go up from 3.5 to say 3.6. It's the same analogy. If the average, if the marginal rate exceeds the average rate, your average tax rate will go up. Overall, 
This just explains the difference between marginal tax rates and average tax rates. The average tax rate is your total tax divided by your total income. Marginal tax rate is how much of an additional dollar that you make that would be taxed by government.